What's up everyone, Some guy here with another Alliance War video, Season 23, War Number 2. We are versing against uh, Rex, or Re-X. Uh, never faced him before, um, looking forward to it. First fight here, we have a Nihilus on Ebb and Flow Knockdown. Uh, I'm just going to be using Quake for it. He's not a stubborn defender, um, so it's just going to be a regular um, Quake and Shake video. Um, just got to parry right before the... Or just gotta knock him down while he's stunned and concussed to shut down the ebb and flow knockdown node altogether. Moving on to the next fight here, we have Mortal on Ebb and Flow Knockdown and Heavy Hitter. I will be using Quake again. Um, the thing about Quaking Mortal is that you have to have Concussion up um, before he gets to his power gain stage um, so that it'll shut down the power gain. Um, most of the time he would just be pretty passive and just uh, stand there because he's power gaining supposedly, but you shut it down. Uh, however, sometimes um, you can get kind of, it is a bit RNG, uh, like right here, I uh, I was holding heavy but he dashed towards me and then the power game triggered, uh, but luckily I was able to kind of take control of the fight, I got Astro ev evaded there, but the DJ is not too much, gotta, just got to bait out an SP2 um, and then get back into quaking again. Next up here we have Magic on um, Steady Build Up Fury and um, Heavy Hitter. Uh, we'll be using Quake um, and it is linked to with Strike Back but Quake can kind of pretty much ignore all the notes. Uh, she's also not a stubborn defender so it's just going to be a regular Quake and Shake video. Next up, we have Omega Red. I'm sorry, we have Korg on Mixmaster. Uh, I will be using my Omega Red. I usually don't take this fight. Usually, our alliance may uh, still takes it because he usually runs suicides and brings his Omega Red. But uh, I believe he can't. He couldn't fit it on his team this uh, war. And I happen to need Omega Red in tier two, so I'll be taking this fight. Uh, this is probably the worst Korg fight you will ever see. Um, I've practiced against Korg on Mixmaster during off season. It was on and off. Sometimes uh, I'll be able to. I usually use Doom against him. Um, sometimes I'll be to solo without too much uh, health loss. Sometimes it will be very close. Uh, but this fight I boosted big. I threw on the Rainbow boost and uh, also an Invuln boost because I know I'll probably be having trouble against uh, Omega Red here. I'm sorry, Korg here. Um, so this fight, I totally forgot about how to play Omega Red, and I completely forgot about Mixmaster No. 2, so I already ate up all my indestructible, terrible, terrible start, and I try to punish his heavy with Omega's heavy, but it doesn't reach and I get hit with the SP1, and it crits so hard, and I'm down to like pretty much no health, so I'm just spamming my SP1s uh, or, SP2, or SP1s to try and get some adrenaline health, thank god for 6 star adrenaline. Um, and then just trying to play kind of safe. I'm just this whole fight. I completely forgot to lock in my spores I don't lock in my spores or don't use any heavy attacks until the very end or don't get to at least I think at this point, I kind of just uh, threw all my Omega gameplay knowledge out the window and just focusing on uh, Mixmaster and uh, trying to get uh, him down little by little. In the Assassin Zoom, so my parries are also failing now. Luckily, I was able to catch that. I tried to lock in my spores or uh, try to counter his heavy over there, but still, he was too far. I just didn't get the spacing right. Uh, luckily, he didn't punish me. If he did, I was dead for sure.
taking a ton of damage. I'm very close to dying here. Just barely on the edge here, 1%. Trying to race to my SP3 so I can get some health back. Luckily, I had some spores on him, so SP3 did give me some health back. Give me about 12% health. Got some health to work with now. Uh, I think just here, I this is the first time I was able to lock in my spores throughout this whole fight. Uh, and then he dies from a lot of degen. If I was able to do that sooner, it would have been a lot smoother. Alright, moving on to section 2 here. We have uh, Nick Fury on uh, Footloose here. Um, after all that, I had to take a break. I had to like reset myself to... Kind of cool down my um my boosts were still running so i was able to get back in and uh go to, go with this fight i threw on a, another in, in vulnerability boost because i've always had a kind of nightmare fighting nick fury i think last season or two seasons ago um but basically my plan here is just trying to push him to sp uh two as many as as much as possible because if uh if he launches his sp1 it's i'm just gonna block it i don't know how to fully evade it and it's gonna it's just gonna give him a bunch of power and he's gonna be constantly on a uh, footloose pretty much so right here i'm just trying to um wait out the footloose the uh unstoppable and the evade and then uh, get back in. I was able to lock in my spores a little bit in the beginning, uh, but it was only up to like, I think 10. Uh, and then they kind of fought, fell off, but just trying to focus on uh, pushing him to SP2, bait the special out, uh, wait out the foot loose, and um, if I can get some heavy in, that's uh, even better. When he has a, a bar of power, I usually just hold my block and bait him to dash into me so he can hit into me to get more power. Um, I was able to get the spacing right for Nick Fury. I think Nick Fury is a lot easier to heavy counter him with uh, Omega's heavy. Uh, so right now I'm just trying to bait out the SP2 and push him back a little bit to mind my spacing. Uh, and he is a stubborn defender, so every time I dex, I am triggering tri triggering stubborn. Um, so I have to be mindful of that. Uh, right here, I think I launched my SP2 to try and uh, gain some more spores and lock in more spores on to try and get him to second phase sooner. I was able to lock in about 15 spores here. They are doing some good damage. Um, he does become indestructible, so I block the very end of the uh, his SP2 so that the uh, spores can do some damage. All right, so now he's in his second phase. I'm pretty. I'm in a pretty good spot. He's in, he's got an SP2 um, where I can bait it out, and uh, he's not cornering me at the moment. Um, just have to wait out the footloose. Um, I was able to heavy counter. I got kind of lucky there. Um, it was he was still unstoppable, but uh, the tail end just nicked him. Um, push him back a little bit, build some more spores. Bait out the SP2. Wait out the footloose. He's also stun immune now, so I have to be mindful of that when he's hitting me into the blocks. I have to watch out for his power, make sure he, he doesn't get too much power into an SP3. Right there, he got kind of close, I got kind of comfortable, so I just backed off a little bit. Um, kind of getting corner at the moment, um, just trying to wait out the foot loose. Luckily, I was able to get a clutch intercept in here and push him to an SP2 through the blocks. Just gotta bait this out and wait out the foot loose again. But he's very close to uh, finishing here, so it's looking pretty good. I'm not as worried as the uh, as the last fight. Got a good amount of health to work with, and he's almost dead. And I think I still have uh, my invuln boost that I haven't uh, used yet, so looking pretty good. And the last hit kills him off. Next fight here we have uh, Moleman on Evan Flow Intercept and uh, Sadist. Uh, this is where I did use up a lot of potions because I was heavily boosted and then I was pretty much down to zero health and had to potion up uh, Omega to take that Nick Fury fight. Um, so it's kind of costly war, but uh, it's fine. At least I got the solos. <laughs> um, just boosting up here for the, for the second section here. For Mole Man, I just know he whenever he has a monster mass, he can shrug off debuffs like a uh, parry stun. So I have to make sure I have at least 10 spores on him before I can safely parry him and uh, heavy to lock in the spores. Uh, that's what the um, saber tooth synergy is mainly for, to build up my spores fast. Um, so right here I was able to get some lock in 16 spores, which is pretty good. Um, just trying to play slow, the Omega style. Uh, I was able to get some 30 spores on here and uh, I'm trying to lock him, but also trying not to let him uh, uses a uh, special 
So I'm trying to get a reparry. I was able to get it down and lock in 29 sports. I'll take it. Um, he is a slumber defender, so I have to be mindful whenever I'm dexing. Um, I got pretty close to his SP3, SP3 here, but luckily I was able to dodge it. Uh, I did get hit over here, but luckily I had an SP3 to save myself from it. Uh, his SP, Omega Red's SP3 does also power drain the opponent, so I was able to get out of that and get back to a full health. I was uh, very lucky. Uh, but his spores were doing so much damage, and this is uh, on Ebb and Flow Intercept, so it is about like it, it, it's uh, if it's what if it didn't have the Ebb and Flow Intercept, he'll be doing a lot more damage on the uh, uh, on like 30 spores. Um, I just wish I was able to lock in more spores on Quark or uh, Nick Fury. I think it would end the fight like so much faster, especially with the uh, rank three Omega Red. Uh, but this fight, I was able to get it out. Not the smoothest fight, but got it done. Moving on to the next fight, we have Ibom here. Uh, he's a new character. It is my first time finding him in war. I had to kind of read his uh, abilities a little bit, uh, but unfortunately, I don't think I read it carefully. He is on redouble determination, which is a very good placement for him, I, to, in my opinion, because every time he um, he launches his SP1, he puts his poison debuffs on himself. Uh, so. If he does that, the readable determination will kick in and he will gain a lot of power, like combat powers. Uh, so I thought, oh, I, I could just use uh, Quake here since uh, he, Quake won't give him any power and I could just uh, shake and bake. He is a stubborn defender, but I didn't read that uh, on contact. He can't put a poison on you. So now I got I got poison from uh, um, suicides and also poison from him. And his poison is really long. I went from like 90% health all the way down to 50% health here from one of, one, one of his poison. Uh, it is kind of RNG based, uh, but if you get another poison, it's uh, it's pretty much over. And I do get hit, and I got another poison. So at this point, I was like, okay, I'm I'm about to die. I'm just trying to do as much damage as I could before I get to my assassin's range, which is right now. Um, and yeah, Quick is pretty much dead, unfortunately. Um, this uh, this defender was also placed on the same node uh, in battle group one and two as well. Uh, and, uh, and they all died to it at least once uh, due to the redouble determination. Uh, the, I think the strategy is to try and push into SP2. Um, however, I can, or most people at least, can't fully evade the, uh, the, I guess, the poisonous gas on his uh, second part of SP2, and they do a ton of damage. And you'll see over here, um, I think they do about 2.6k damage per hit on the block. Uh, and yeah, and I was taking a bit of damage, um, but he was pretty much dead at this point already, so it was okay. But I don't know going forward if uh, Omega Red will be able to solo. Maybe if I build a lot of spores on him and lock it in, but it was kind of a tough fight. And next up here we have Nova, pretty much on the same nodes, also with Crumbling Armor. I like taking this uh, fight with uh, Quake just because most of the time I'm able to heal up with Willpower from the Crumbling Armor. Um, I was being cheap over here. I only topped off uh, Quake up to 50% because I was like, oh, I'll be able to heal up uh, the rest of 50% with the um, armor break debuffs through willpower. Um, but that's going to bite me really soon. Um, I should have healed her up a little bit more. Yeah, I should have threw on that extra, <laughs> extra pot over here, but I didn't. Um, I boosted up a little bit. I was still running suicides. I was like, it's okay if I'm running suicides. Uh, the crumbling armor is going to save me. Uh, but I, I mess up in this fight, uh, big time. Um, it was not a good start. Most of the time, uh, you basically have to, I, at least that's what I was trying to do, basically um, dance around and then parry right before the crumbling armor timer um, ends so that uh, you don't, and make sure you're not charging your heavy so the concussion doesn't prevent the uh, crumbling armor. So right here, it does prevent it. Uh, I threw my heavy, I was trying to get it off, but luckily he uh, didn't punish me for it. Uh, right here, it got it off again at, and I got auto blocked and then he, he punished me for it. I'm at 1%, percent i am about to die. So I had to force quit. Luckily at this point, um, our opponents already finished and they had uh, a good amount of death and we were pretty, well ahead about like 10 or 15 deaths ahead so uh, I was okay I, we, our, our alliance was okay with this war at least so I'm going back in and try it again um, this time I healed her up uh, properly to the right amount to what's supposed to be 
um, he wasn't playing into my uh, dash again, so I was able to concussion the um, armor break again. So I hit him this time and just try to parry here. And finally, I got the armor break debuff. So now I can play normally, just basically uh, shake and bake and hit right before the aftershock timer. So the um, aftershock will do some damage and just let the crumbly armor do its, uh, or the willpower do its job and uh, heal me up. All right, moving on to mini boss island here. We have uh, Mysterio on Enhanced Special One, Hurt Locker, and uh, I think Power Gain. I forget. Uh, but I'm just gonna be using Quake, Quick and Shake. He's not a stubborn defender. It's just gonna be a regular Quick and Shake fight. And next up we have Dr. Doom on uh, Aspect of Evolution, Enhanced Special 2, Improved Power Gain. We'll be just using Quake, Quake and Bake, or Shake and Bake. Um, he is a Stormer Defender. This is a rank 3 Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom hits pretty hard through the block. Um, so uh, I had to run some suicides. The suicides does help um, finish the fight faster, but I'm also kind of dying a lot because uh, I have 3 out of 3, um, what is it, Glass Cannon? Uh, but Quake for the most part is uh, pretty safe in my opinion, uh, I just have to mind the uh, block damage. And that is it for me from this war, um, definitely not the best war, made a lot of mistakes, uh, we did end up winning this war, um, so we'll be back in tier 1 war again, uh, so get some good points. Um, but I definitely need to practice a lot more on uh, Omega Red and his uh, gameplay style. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.